What's up guys and welcome back to my brand new 2,000 subscriber editing template giveaway video. Well, I should have been getting about 2,000 right now, but for some reason, I don't know how it happened, but like 400 of you guys just came in in one week. It's pretty crazy. Anyways, I left a link in the description to a direct download from my editing pack. You can go ahead and do that now. However, I do recommend watching a short bit through this video. I'm just going to basically go into it and show you the most efficient way to use it without it getting clustered and you needing to like restart it multiple times. Alright, so before I jump into this video, I just wanted to let everybody know that I have recreated my Discord server. The link will be in the description to join this if you would like. And basically, just come in here, share songs, share editing feedback, questions, stay updated with my schedule, um, get updated whenever I post a video, stuff like that. So on my desktop here, you can see I have the folder. It says Reflex Pro Thumbnail Template, and this will actually be in a zip file. You can go ahead and extract that with something like WinRAR or 7-Zip. Normally, they'll be on your computer. But I already have it in a folder here, so I'm going to open it up, and it will look exactly like this. Basically, you have a bunch of fonts, because some of the fonts in here you won't have on your computer originally, so you want to just go into the fonts folder, and all you need to do to install these is just double-click on them, and you just click the install button right there. Nothing else will happen. Close it out. Just go ahead and install all these. You don't even need to if you don't want to use the fonts, but I do recommend it. And this is the legal. I just basically put all the legal stuff for these fonts in here so we're not breaking any rules. Um, leave alone. This is a bunch of textures and data files for the Photoshop template because Photoshop doesn't save your pictures unless they're rasterized. So other pictures, basically this is just the stuff in there. You don't need to touch any of these. And when you go ahead and open up this Photoshop file, it is a big file, so it may take a second. Okay, so before I jump into this too much, I just want to tell you guys something so that you don't need to make a new Photoshop document every single time you want to make a new thumbnail for your latest video. So all you need to do is enable this, click on it, basically duplicate it. So clicking Control J on a Windows or Command J on a Mac, it'll make a copy and go ahead and click the bottom one, lock it, turn it off so you can't see it and edit your whole thing with the top copy and then when you're done with it just go ahead and give it a big delete and then turn this on unlock it do the exact same thing basically just keep doing that and you will never need to make a new photoshop document so basically it'll just look like this nothing special and if you click the down arrow under reflex thumbnail template you'll notice all of these effects so starting at the very top we have color correction which is pretty much just self-explanatory I'm actually going to go ahead and go into a background stock and enable this. I included 60 pictures for you guys. 60 individual pictures that I went through and took in high quality in Fortnite. Super high quality and you can just use whatever one you want. Just basically go through them as you create more and more thumbnails. Now I'm not going to use these so don't worry about me having the same thumbnail backgrounds as you. Looking at color correction when you enable this, it basically just makes it look a little bit more whole. Okay and I have these individual effects. Alright, so first looking into styled texts. If I enable this, it'll show you a bunch of text that I've created and all the gradients are slightly different. This will not work correctly if you do not install the fonts. So you're gonna need to install the fonts. These are basically just meant to be some cool, thick looking fonts. They kinda got a backdrop which makes it look a little bit 3D on it. I was actually inspired by another YouTuber to create this. Alright, now looking into particle effects. If I go ahead and enable this, it'll be a little bit clustering. Um, disable the ones you don't want leave the ones you do want enabled and it can add some nice little like ambient effects useful picks so these are basically just a handful of picks that I've gotten out of Fortnite from the latest season and you can go through hide the ones you don't want to use yet again and basically just take it drag it around do whatever you want with these alright so for the rest of the video while you guys go ahead and go to the download download it and open it up I'm just going to play some music while I create a thumbnail and just show you kind of the, some of the stuff that you can do with this. So enjoy.
All right, so when it comes time to export this picture, um, it's actually going to be a little bit too big normally to upload to YouTube, so you can't just save it like a normal Photoshop file. You actually have to click File, go down to Export, and click Export As. You click this drop down, select JPG Export. Pick where you want it to export. I'll just call this Test Save. And all it needs to be is under two megabytes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and export it and show you guys that it will be under two megabytes. So it is saved right here, there, under two megabytes. All right, if you're gonna download this, you definitely don't need to, but I would really like if you would subscribe and like, leave a comment of what you want me to post in the future and just stay tuned. See ya.